MRSA, methicillin resistance to Thylococcus aureus. Infection is caused by a strain of staph bacteria that's become resistant to the antibiotics commonly used to treat ordinary staph infections. Most MRSA infections occur in people who have been in hospitals or other healthcare settings, such as nursing homes and dialysis centers. When it occurs in these settings, it's known as healthcare-associated MRSA, high MRSA. High MRSA infections typically are associated with invasive procedures or devices, such as surgeries, intravenous tubing, or artificial joints. Another type of MRSA infection has occurred in the wider community, among healthy people. This form, community-associated MRSA, about MRSA, often begins as a painful skin boil. It's spread by skin-to-skin -skin contact. At-risk populations include groups such as high school wrestlers, child care workers and people who live in crowded conditions. MRSA Infection Symptoms Cellulitis, infection of the skin or the fat and tissues that lie immediately beneath the skin, usually starting as small red bumps in the skin. Boils, pus filled infections of hair follicles, abscesses, collections of pus in under the skin, sty, infection of eyelet gland, carbuncles, infections larger than an abscess, usually with several openings to the skin, and impetigo, a skin infection with pus filled blisters. One major problem with MRSA is that occasionally the skin infection can spread to almost any other organ in the body. MRSA Infection Treatment Skin and Soft Tissue Infections Minor skin and soft tissue infections, such as smaller boils or abscesses, may only require a treatment called incision and drainage. Incision and drainage involves piercing the tip of the boil or abscess with a sterile needle or scalpel. This encourages the pus to drain out, which should help relieve pain and stimulate the recovery process. Before having the procedure, you are likely to be given a local anesthetic to numb the affected area. More extensive skin infections, such as cellulitis, an infection of the underlying layers of skin, will usually require a 5 to 10 day course of antibiotic tablets. MRSA infection is a common disease, yet every individual needs unique treatment and care. We encourage people with MRSA infection and their families to learn as much as possible about the latest medical treatment and approaches as well as healthy lifestyle choices. For more information about MRSA infection and how to treat MRSA infection, just click on the link at description. Or visit www.mainmd.com. Thank you.